Yeah, so we're here with Terry and Trey. Woo, 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 woo. Where, where that dog at? Where the dog at? There we go. Tonight. They go to judge tonight. But you know what? I was loving his energy on the floor. Marcus Morris, man. And, you know, after he, after he's 17 points, I think he had, right? 17 and 7 and seven rebounds in the first half. In the right. first half. Yeah. And then he was ejected at the very beginning of the second half, but for all good reasons. For what you know, what the Knicks have represented for many of us who you know, became fan in the '80s, '90s, you saw that again he, tonight. He, he brought you know, that. They spoke that. a lot this summer, and we hear it all the time. We heard Brandon Jennings years ago talking about, "I'm gonna pick up 94 feet. We're doing this. We're doing that." We heard Ennis Cantor talk about this new defense. We've heard this. But Marcus, but Mark, we knew it, and we believed him, and he knew he was gonna do it, and you saw that mentality spread to the team. You know, we just spoke to you we're talking about it. That energy dropped big time once he got knocked out, right. when he got ejected. So, yeah, beginning of the beginning of that third quarter, like, yeah. you saw it. Like they were completely it was missing that piece, like that chess piece that they were missing, and the, and the wizards walked all over them. As, as, as a result, they walked all over them. It was like, but, yeah. um, Frank. Gotta say, definitely saw from him what we wanted to see, which was a lot more confidence and strength in his ability. We already know that he has the skills. Like yeah. that, I think we've always known. It's been in his head. It's always been in his head. But I definitely yeah. saw him being more powerful, more forceful, and, and just seemed more confident. And that was much more confident one, overall. One, one obviously, for a while. some of that good FIBA stuff carried over. But he just seemed decisive, which I liked. You know, he had, he had missed a couple. You know, he started well, was two for two to start. Then he missed a couple, and then he hit a big three late. And you can see Fizz on the sideline. Fizz was rooting for him. Like Fizz really wanted to hit that three. Um, and one thing we got to say, because we were pretty close, that bench and that team, like, it's early, and there's like 15 guys, and everybody got to get minutes, and it's going to be crazy. But they were really together, man. And but really supporting each really other. Like, you like, saw once yeah. one guy was hot, the bench was on their feet, really rooting for that guy. Yeah, Todd Gibson hit a couple threes. They were going in. You could Wayne Ellington, Wayne Ellington with the golden arm. <laughs> Um, and, Ra and Randall, so not Randall, sorry, um, RJ Barrett, so who did not yeah. play so great in the first half. And I actually have been saying for a while that, you know, his transition, he's been a star pretty much his whole career, right? Oh, star, in, star in the uh, in, in high school, star in college, and I have said that his transition to the NBA is going to be a little bit difficult. And I spoke to a fellow New York Knicks fan next to me about, you know, what's going to take him some time, possibly like a year, to really like get into that. And as I said it, this guy just started to step up, yeah. started to score, started to basically shut me up. Is how I felt, which I was, I'm all for it. If I could have told shit about you, <laughs> you to step up, it's all good. He's, the thing is with RJ is that he's unfazed, and you can see it. You know, his confidence didn't waver. He came back in the second half, took it to the rim. I started flexing, pointing at people on the sideline. Yeah, I got it. But in the right attitude, I think this team, I think on a bad team where he was allowed to do whatever, it could be bad for his attitude long term. You know what I mean? Getting too many, kind of like what Knox, I don't think Knox is his mentality, but the way Knox was treated last year, I don't think it would have been good for RJ. I think this team with these events, they're going to keep him humble. I think he's a good kid. I think he wants to be great. And he's going to put in the work, which is why, honestly, when it came to him in the draft, I'm like, this is the guy you got to take. Even if you think other guys might be better year one, for New York, the guy, the guy who says, yo, I'm a Nick, that means something. Also you know, needs to be a more stable person. Yeah. Had that mentality. And, and, and you can see it. Yeah. And he's someone who wants to be here. And you got to say, for a team and a franchise that's dealt with players not wanting to come here, it's refreshing to see someone want to be here, embrace it, embrace it the right way. And it's early. We're always optimistic early. We know that. But you got to say, they're making some something here. And even with some system stuff, this put out a lineup in the second half, I really liked. You know, I think it was like Frank. You had RJ, which I always liked as a backcourt. I wanted to see that. Right. You had Todd. Todd. You had Wayne stretching the floor. I, I think Knox was there as well. So you got a nice mix of defense, floor spacing, which could be an issue for us this year. Rim protection, Todd is doing a pretty decent job there. So a lot more to unpack. You know, Knicks fans want to overanalyze everything. You know, I did a 20-minute uh, <laughs> Open game practice. One, we're so overanalyzing right. everything. Right. A lot to be happy and excited about. And I think, you know, a franchise is taking the steps to get where we need to be. Maybe a bit slower than some people hoped, but so instead he wins the race, and I think for the franchise, this is what we needed, and watch us in a couple years. Watch us in a couple years, I'm telling you. The building box, you can see it. That's right. We just saw Scott and Steve, they're right here yes, talking sir. to us, they're happy too, they're putting on smiles. So, shout out to the Knicks, man.